Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the awesome Coffee Talk 2 Hibiscus and Butterfly. Once again this was developed by Togue Productions, published by Chorus Worldwide Games and is usually available for $12.49 but was included in Xbox Game Pass from day one so more reason to Game Pass up. Huh? So in this surprising sequel, we see new and familiar faces as we once again make lots of coffee, talk lots, in fact there's even more talking this time round, and genuinely have a chill time while nabbing every achievement. What's different this time however is the achievements aren't as chilled as the first game. So we will need to play through the main story three times because you need to get a perfect playthrough, all correct drinks, correct items handed out etc, a good playthrough, a couple of things wrong, and a totally nutsack playthrough which is bad, bad, bad. Uh, but basically that will unlock various story achievements throughout each playthrough but more importantly it unlocks one particular epilogue scene at the end of the game. Uh, now, each playthrough takes roughly about an hour to an hour and a half or so. So, as you can imagine, this isn't three to four hours this time. This is more like five to seven hours-ish. Uh, we do have achievements that are the same as in Coffee Talk 1. Uh, for instance, um, an hour in latte art, challenge mode, etc. But we'll get that when we come to it. So, with me waffled out, let's do it. And, of course, you can make up your name. Um, Flicker the Bean was the first one. And now I'm going for Tea Bagging. Um, now, of course, that's, uh, I mean, there's got to be someone out there called, you know, like, Mr. Baggin, Mr. Baggins, Toby Baggins, I don't know, something or other. Um, but if there is a tea baggin out there, you have an incredible name, and I am all here for it. So, uh, but we are going to be tea bagging our way through this game. I'm ever so sorry. Uh, right, so, we'll just crack on. I'm just turning the music down because, you know, copyright and stuff and... Man wants to get paid, cost of living crisis and everything, you know. So, we'll start the game and we'll already get our first achievement. Welcome to Coffee Talk. Do I sound like a New Yorkan? Yeah, hey man, welcome to Coffee Talk. Yeah, that sounds pretty cute, huh? Right, we're just going to get through this scene um, as quick as we can. Again, it'll, it's, they're all the same... Um, it, obviously, if you played the first game, it'll all be too familiar for you. We're basically just going to hold or, or, you know... Basically hold the right bumper in order to speed through all of the dialogue, and as I said, there is a lot of dialogue, a lot more dialogue this time around. Um, but of course, what we're going to be doing for this first time then is we are going to be getting the perfect playthrough, which means, again, we are going to be getting every drink correct, and we're going to hand out every single item to the correct person. Okay, so we will start the day, and, well... You know how it goes. We'll do it! So, this time around there's 15 days. Um, again, three to four to five people want drinks. The only other two ingredients this time are hibiscus and um, the blue pea, as you'll see. There he is, the most stressed looking cop you will ever see in your entire life. Old Georgie is back. Uh, so again, like I said, just press and hold the right bumper there to smash it forward. Now what I'm going to show you in this guide is, we're just going to do the perfect playthrough. I'm going to show you the whole playthrough for the first one, and then for the bad playthrough and the uh, sort of good playthrough, I'm only going to be showing you what you have to change in order to get the achievements. Uh, so you can actually give Georgie what you want here, but he will ask for the same drink later on. So uh, just remember what you give him. I'm just going to go for a nice hibiscus tea. So we're going to press hibiscus here with the red flower on the right. Just press that three times. Uh, again, you can do that or the one next to it, which is called blue pea. But you have to remember which drink because Georgie will ask for the same drink later on. Uh, so just stick with me if you want. We're going for a hibiscus tea. Mate, get that bloody petal out my brew. Uh, now, when you press the X button there, we go into our draw. Now, press the right trigger uh, to pick it up and then left stick to drag it down and drag it around. Then, once the item is on the tray there on the left, you can press the A button to give the drink. And that will start us off. So, again, it's very easy. Very, you know, um, and obviously we get another achievement there. Um, it's very easy, but all of these little changes, it's just a, a big and very subtle improvement. Um, you know, Coffee Talk 1 was great. But all of these extra little things, honestly, just makes the game feel just fresh again. So, we've got the horniest goat boy in the land of Coffee Talk land. Lucas, um, he is one of the new faces, of course. 
And, oh, guess what he is? Just like everyone, you know, in their early 20s, they're an influencer. <laughs> Ain't we all, mate? Right, we're going to give him a triple green tea. So the second one right there, green tea, green tea, green tea. Press the A button to brew it up. Now, of course, I'll obviously always let you know when there's a particular item we need to give or anything like that. We don't have any items this time, so we can just serve it. And this guy, who is, of course, an influencer, he also looks like the type to... <laughs> <laughs> you know those um, quote-unquote influencers that go, Oh, I've just had a really nice expensive meal, £150. How about I will put this on Instagram and then it'll give you exposure. Oh yeah, let me just ring up the electric and gas company. Hiya, I know you're charging me an absolute bomb and a leg, but um, would um, exposure pay for the electric bill, please? No? <laughs> well, yeah, don't say, mate. Yeah, bloody influencers. You influence nothing but a bloody migraine in most of us. And you know this sort of quote-unquote influencers I'm talking about, by the way. Uh, you know, the ones who actually do good stuff are very good. The ones who go, Ew, look at my... I have one big arm and one big boob. I'm an influencer. No, no. You influence migraines and you want me to make me... Uh... Anyway, here is a, another... New Aladia, uh, Riona, Riona. We're going to give a blue pea and chuck in a bit of milk with that. So blue pea and then milk and milk. And uh, we're going to brew that up lovely. She definitely looks like she could be a very, uh, someone very exciting in a relationship. You don't know if she's going to straddle your face or stab you in the abdomen. It keeps the relationship fresh and excitement, doesn't it? So, uh, <laughs> tidy boy. Uh, right, you don't actually have to do the latte art if you don't want. Um, I don't think it doesn't make a difference. But, you know, get used to it and stuff, isn't it?
Well then, Officer Stresshead, you left your lighter. Now, as you could probably tell, yes, this game has a lot more talking. Uh, but again, uh, so we're on to day two now. But again, as I said, um, I'm only going to be showing you this full, sort of, th this first playthrough in full. And then the good and the bad playthrough, as I said, I'm only going to be showing you um, what to do um, in order to get the specific endings, etc. But what I'll do then, in the comments section and the, um, the other bit, the description bit, I'll put all of the drinks that you need as well, so you don't have to f f go back and forth on the video, you can literally just um, have a look at the list of things. But yeah, we'll come more to that later on. So, here he is, old horny goat man himself. And for Mr. Pucus, uh, his first drink is going to be coffee, honey, and milk. So that's coffee there on the left. Honey, which is of course uh, in a big honey jar, should look good. And milk. So, Myrtle the Squirtle Turtle is back, um, along with her friend Fish Flap Aqua, Fishy Flace Flap Flace, Fishy Flap Face, that'll do. Uh, but anyway, we are going to need for Myrtle the Squirtle Turtle, tea, milk and cinnamon. Again, try not to be confused with tea and green tea. So, tea, milk and cinnamonious. And old fish face here is going to go for a very cleverly named drink, the Aqua Trang... The Aqua... Aqu well, you'll see in a minute. Anyway, it's blue pea and mint twice. So, blue pea... Uh, better, make no, better not make my pea blue, though. Uh, so, blue pea, mint and mint, and it is called the Aqua Tranquilla Tea. <laughs> Get it? Because it's tea, Tranquilla Tea. I think that was very clever.
So you should have unlocked the overflowing warmth achievement there, that was just a story related one. Again, for getting the drinks correct and then not correct later on, you'll just unlock a bunch of story related achievements tied to those. And we've got the fidget spinner from Lucas, who he wants us to give it to someone else. Um, but in fact, there's three people that we can give it to and two are for specific and achievements. Anyway, on to day three and we've got a, another familiar face coming up. In Welcome to the Lua, the Lua. And there's a big fish there with uh, fins and stuff on him. Weird! So there's another familiar face in Lua. Was she always that pink or blue? What the hell color is that? Uh, my eyes are squished up a minute. Anyway, for Lua, it's going to be a hibiscus, milk, and cinnamon. So hibiscus, the flower, of course, milk, and cinnamon. Maybe the relationship has just changed the skin color. Stress, her hair doesn't fall out, her skin changes color. That would be, that would be, I don't know, is that better? Hair falling out or change skin color? It's impressive anyway. So, pink spice and nothing nice.
Now, you all thought that was Neil, huh? But no, you can tell it's a woman because she's got a flower on her, which I find kind of sexist because men like flowers too. Right, uh, what you're going to do is give Amanda here a blue pea <laughs> and two gingers. Um, <laughs> in return for not destroying our planet. There you go, have a blue pea and you can have two gingers. Take them! We don't need them! Uh, anyway, <laughs> so she gets a blue lightning. But uh, yes, so... um. I'm going to have to email the devs about this one. Excuse me, why is it that only women get flowers? I'm a man, a masculine man who likes flowers too! And if you're wondering who this is, this is actually Neil, the astronaut from the first game. He sort of took over a human body or something, I don't know. Anyway, what you're going to do, and his name is Silver now, by the way. Blue pea, honey, and mint. So that's blue pea, honey, and mint. And that will basically end this day, and we can crack on with the next one. But yes, Neil slash Silver looks good as a humanoid thing.
What was Agent Hitman? <laughs> I say Agent Hitman. He looked more like if you ordered him from Wish then, didn't you? Agent S. Hitman. I just put those words together. I can't say it. YouTube will ban me for swearing. Um, anyway, Agent Schneisenhausen man. He's after the astronauts himself. Oh no. Right, on to day four here. Now, there is an... A couple of achievements tied to what you give Rachel as a drink first, and then on day 13, whatever drink you give her, you will unlock a specific achievement. So, uh, again, that's why we need to go all through all three anyway, um, because basically doing that will give Rachel these specific achievements. They will unlock singles that you will need for um, completing the full song list, uh, which we'll come to in just a minute. But for now, what we're going to do is give Rachel some hibiscus. Milk and honey, which I think is called the sweetheart, the sweetheart latte. So hibiscus, um, milk and honey. And because you've done this drink, on day 13 you'll unlock a specific achievement there. And then we'll go through the bad playthrough, we'll unlock another achievement later on, etc, etc. Right, before giving it to her, go to, uh, press X to give item. And we're going to give her the Fidget Spinner, and that will give us the Fellow Influencer achievement. Don't worry, she does actually give it back, but we're just giving this to her now. And um, there it is, so we'll get the Fellow Influencer achievement. Job done, mate. Riona then. Ah, what Riona wants is another perfect little drink here. Um, blue pea, milk and honey. So blue pea turns your pea blue, milk and honey. And then when it's brewed, now we're going to give Riona um, Lucas's contact info here as well. So press X again, go to give item, flick through with the left stick. Not the agent ID card, that is not what we are wanting. Um, but it is the other one, the one with the big L on it, there we go. So pop that on the tray there, pick it up with the right trigger and then drop it with the left stick, put it down. Press A to proceed and press A again. Um, now in case you were wondering, um, if you... Because basically, well, th this game, if you give certain items to certain people... You will go down a particular path, um, and it's the same if you don't give items to certain people. You'll go down a different path, and that's how you end up getting the sort of bad endings, the good endings, etc, etc. But in terms of you actually receiving the items, it's automatically the same every single time. So you don't have to do anything different in order to receive the items. It is just uh, what items you give out to whichever people, which, uh, you know, sorts out the way for the rest of the game. So... Just in case you were wondering, well, there we go. One day, no more. Anyway, Gala. He's a doctor now, bruh. Did you know? And you can tell because he's still scratched up. He still turns into a werewolf. And he's still got an epic beard, man. Imagine shaping it where it's all spiky and stuff. Cute. So, Mr. Gala would like a drink, so let's give him tea, milk, and ginger. So, tea, milk, and ginger, it says right there anyway, so I'll have my usual, a mix of tea, milk, and ginger, please. And once again, we're going to give him another item, so press X to go into your item drawer. Give him the fidget spinner again. So, this will unlock the Child's Play achievement, by the way, and this is the last drink of the day that we have to make, so give him the Fidget Spinner, and that will get us the Child's Play achievement. 
and then we can blast straight through to the end. So of course you would have automatically gotten the key card. We are on to day five and we have Hyde. Remember Gala? Remember at the end of the last one where Gala and Hyde, well, they got a little kinky, huh? Um, but anyway, Hyde is back and with Georgie for his first drink, he's going for a black coffee with honey. So two coffees. So coffee, coffee and honey. And that'll do him just fine, just fine. It is also important to give Georgie his lighter back. You'll need to do this three times because the dope forgets it every time. So again, press X to go to give item, left stick to scroll in. There's his lighter, drop it on, and job done. So, Hyde's next drink. This is important to get specific achievements later on. Now, a lot of people thought, because he asked for any drink, um, you thought, you think you can just make absolutely any drink at all. But no, what you have to make is a specific one, and it is just three hibiscuses. So he asked for a bold red drink. A lot of people thought, including myself, you could just make him whatever you want with hibiscus or anything. But no, for a specific achievement, you need to get three hibiscuses, and we need to give him the key card as well. So that's hibiscus times three again, and make sure to give him the key card as well, and you will get another achievement uh, for that later on. 
So there was a bit of an edit, like I said, I missed this one first time around because I thought you could make him anything. But no, it is Hibiscus three times tart, astringent. All right, bloody Edward the Vampire, or whatever your name is from the old uh, Twonk and Light series. And little Lucas the Pucus here would like some coffee, milk, and cinnamon, please. So, coffee, milk, and cinnamonious. And because we've given Lucas every perfect drink so far, he will give us an achievement called a good review, which is nice. So immediately on day six here, we will unlock an achievement called We Are All Friends, and that is because we got the final character to meet, which is, if you will remember, it's Lua's boyfriend, it's Bailey's, old, old Biggie is Bailey's. Here he is. Hello! Oh, trouble in paradise. Right, Lua would like two coffees and one ginger. So coffee, coffee, ginger. And apparently that calms everybody down.
So, time to grab another achievement here as well with Hyde. And what he wants, did you hear me? He wants hibiscus and two gingers again. So, hibiscus and then ginger and then ginger. And then what that should do then is unlock the bloodish achievement. Oh, bloodish red achievement, sorry. So, pop that one down. Bloodish red. Jobs are good. Un. And now to serve pure elf boy. Oh, bruh, stop being sad, man. Relationships are supposed to be happy. For the most part. Hmm. Right, anyway, uh, Bailey's wants a chocolate, honey, and milk. So we're using chocolate for the first time, I believe. Yeah, so chocolate, honey, and milk. That sounds like an absolute dream of a drink, to be fair.
Now, for one, there's only two drinks we're going to serve in this um, chapter, or whatever, day seven. There are also two achievements related to um, giving and not giving a particular item here to Silver. Um, and it's basically just the agent's ID card. So you'll give him, we're going to give him the agent's ID card this time. Um, and the first drink he wants is coffee, coffee, and lemon. So coffee, coffee, and lemon. And then brew it, and then remember we're going to go into the draw, give him the agent's ID card. And then for the next run through, we're not going to give him the agent's ID card. That's for another specific ending. Um, so there we go. Pop it. There it is, Gib. Uh, what, what, <laughs> what's that supposed to be? Gib. Um, giblets in bows. Yes, that's, uh, that sounds like a hell of an FBI agency. Anyway, we're going to get an achievement here, Master Purloiner. And again... Uh, we'll get a specific ending for giving it, and then later on we'll get another specific ending for not giving it. Um, what I should also say is, when we, because we will have to do sort of specific little bits as well. So we need to do the three playthroughs, plus we have to go back and change a few drinks, go into the future. You don't actually have to finish the full day, so we can go somewhere, um, change someone's drink, go to another day, say, change someone's drink, and just go straight to the next one, rather than playing out each day so that comes in handy so one more drink left to get anyway for big silver bullets So now that Agent S. Hitman is gone and out of the way, we're going to make Silver one more drink. And he's going to go for a nice chocolate and double honey combo. Oh, bloody cat. Oh, meow you, you son of a... Anyway, I love cats. Right, here we go. So chocolate and then honey and honey to finish off the chapter or day or whatever we're in.
So, because we gave Hyde the key card earlier on, uh, we will now get the achievement called Saved 100 Bucks, which is uh, nice. Old, for old Gala Red Nose right here. So there we go, and that is because we gave Hyde the key card. This is where this achievement comes into it. Uh, now we've got six people to give drinks to in this one, so it's a fairly long uh, day. Which, you know what, if it's always raining and we're always in the night, bro, I just want to go home. Anyway, Gala would like a milk, ginger and honey, please. So, milk, ginger, and some honey to finish it off. Next up is old Robo Riona, uh, and she's going to want some tea, lemon, and cinnamon. So that'll be tea, lemon, and cinnamon. Now, old stress head Georgie, he's going to want a triple coffee, so we go for an espresso. Um, we don't, I don't think he needs an espresso in all fairness, but it is coffee, coffee, coffee. Get that down his neck, stress him more out. And make sure to give him his lighter back as well. So press the X button and make sure to give him his lighter back. Pop that on the tray and be like, bruh, put it in your pocket, man. I can, you've got a, you got pockets in your shirt. Jeez, God. Useless. Anyway, big old Pukey Puke's turn for a drink now, and he wants some chocolate, milk, and ginger. So that's chocolate, milk, and a bit of ginger for the old gingerness. The old ginger virus there. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, Georgie wants another drink. What, my espresso ain't good enough, you blood? Yeah, okay. Um, right, we'll make him a hibiscus, ginger, and honey. So, hibiscus, ginger, and some honey to finish it off. Probably that's a lot nicer than a triple coffee, in all fairness. Because coffee tastes like someone has peed in your drink. And Lucas is also going to want one more drink. So what, my chocolate milk and ginger ain't good enough for you, blood? Okay, have another. We're going for a blue pea, mint, and lemon combo this time. So blue pea, mint, and lemon. And that will be the finally the last of the drinks and we can get on to day nine. <laughs> So, oh big spiky beer boy, he's going to want a nice drink to start off day 9, blue pea, milk and ginger. There we go, so blue pea, milk and a bit of ginger to top it off with. Thank <laughs> you. 
And then Hyde's just going to want something a little easier to make. Uh, he's going to want coffee, coffee, and ginger. So, two coffees, please, and a bit of ginger as well. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, coffee, coffee, ginger. That's another job done. And, in fact, actually, this one's, a, this one's a very clever one. As you can see, he says, Anything you've seen me enjoy recently or when we first met, referring to, of course, the first Coffee Talk game. So... As I said, and yeah, this is a Jahi Tubrak or whatever it's bloody called, um, but very, just little things like that really does make you, it just, I can't even explain it, but it just makes it feel like even an even better game. Like they could have just gone, here's a bunch of new characters, do the same thing as you've done last time, but all the Easter eggs from the first game, all the little bits of conversation and stuff they refer into past, present and future is really, really cool, really cool. But Lua, anyway, wants a chocolate, lemon, and honey combination this time, please. So, chocolate, lemon, and honey. And again, what's incredible is, uh, they haven't changed the game too much, but they just added in, like I said earlier, they've added in little bits of extra things, and it just feels like a just totally polished brand new game. It just has improved it massively. So, you know, kudos to everyone at Toe Productions there. Awesome. Anyway, uh, that was Lua's last drink, so day 9 will be done, day 10 will begin shortly. Now, apparently, this is what someone looks like when they're scared. <laughs> no, that, that's a Bowser shot. Not 
Gary Bowser, who has been sued by Nintendo and has to pay 30% of his wages for the rest of his life. Um, let's not get into that, but more Bowser from the Mario series there with the epic shoulders up and, uh, yeah. Incredible stuff. I didn't realise my shoulders could do that when I was crapping my pants. Not literally, I mean, because I'm scared. Not because I've crapped my pants. I haven't done that in at least a couple of months. So, after old LSD head here, his eyes have chilled out and calmed down, we're going to give him a drink, which is going to be coffee, honey, and lemon. So, coffee, honey, and lemon. And once again, when, when, when this is brewed, we're going to need to give him his lighter back for the third time. So, again, press the X button there, go into the drawer. And get him his lighter. Now, a scene's going to play out with a couple of detectives here. Uh, but we are pretty much, because we've given them all the correct drinks and everything so far, we are now going to get the a hard-boiled advice achievement. <laughs> Man, I don't know what was going on with the detectives, but that one guy was ripped. And that's what we all want to look like, right? Anyway, Riona wants a tea, lemon, and honey combo, please. So tea, lemon, and honey. And I'm going to go back to, how the hell do I look like that ripped-ass cop?
Oh man, I do like Riona, but goddamn, she talks a lot. Which, of course, that's what we're here for. Um, giving advice, apparently, as uh, Mr. Teabaggins. So, with Baileys here, you can do either blue, uh, blue pea or hibiscus. It doesn't matter which one you do, but it is milk and honey. So, blue pea or hibiscus, and then milk, and then honey. So, that's the order that you've got to do it in. Again, as I said, blue pea or hibiscus doesn't matter, as long as it's one of the two. And that's dreaming blue, or hibiscus red. Yeah. So, our two favourite astronaut people and humanoid persons back. Amanda's going to want hibiscus and two milks. Now, uh, she basically doesn't want us to reuse any ingredients for this one. So, that's why we're going to go for hibiscus, milk and milk. And again, even sell things like that. You know, trying to, trying to actually make you think. Of course, you're not needing to think because I'm telling you which ones to put in. But, very clever and very subtle again. Uh, ones just like Hyde's drink. You know, uh, give me a drink that we done when we first met, and that one there, clever, <laughs> very clever actually. So, two achievements you should have got there then, 40,075k MR in the world, and the Guest of Honour achievement. So, you should have those two, providing you've been following along with the guide. Then, we're going to make Silver a chocolate, honey, and ginger drink. So, chocolate, honey, and ginger. And then we can brew that one off, and that'll be the end of day 11. So we haven't seen her as much this time, but old fishy flat face is back, Mrs. Aqua. She's going to want a tea, a ginger, 
and some cinnamon. So tea, ginger and cinnamon. Hi, hi! It's Flanderino! Ned Flanders back in cat form, boy! How are we doing, mate? I didn't think we'd be able to see you in this game, but nope! There he is, Red Nose, Pink Panther, Ned Flanders as a cat is back! And we're gonna want a couple of drinks, of course. So, Hendry here, or Flanderino's, is going to want milk, ginger, and honey. So, again, in that particular order, milk, ginger, and honey. And old Gala Boy is going to want hibiscus, ginger, and honey. So hibiscus, ginger, and honey. And plus, when this one is brewed, what we're going to do is we need to give uh, Gala here the wedding invitation as well. So give item and uh, have a scroll through Bailey's and Lua's wedding, pop it on the tray and give him the wedding invite. Mm -hmm. 
So in comes Officer Stress Nose once again to talk about his problems, and he's going to once again want one espresso, which again is coffee, coffee, and coffee. And this will be the last drink, and then day 13 shall appear. Also, very important here to go into your drawer, so press X and give him Riona's card as well. That's another important one. So make sure uh, Officer Stress Balls has Riona's card as well as his triple coffee. So when we begin the day then, for day 13, remember in day 4 we made uh, Rachel that sweetheart latte. What this is going to do now is get us the achievement called First Love, plus that gives us one out of the three singles that we need. So one of the three tapes that we need in order to get a full playlist for uh, a couple of achievements later on. But we will get the First Love achievement, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much job done. And because we made the Sweetheart Latte, again, even the drinks change as well. So, th because, again, this is the perfect playthrough. So we made her the perfect drink earlier, and she's going to ask specifically for a triple milk. So when her dialogue comes up, we're going to go milk, milk, milk. When we do the other two later on, she will ask for a different drink because she's not feeling as inspired. Again, it's all clever stuff, yeah. So, yeah, when she asks, go milk, milk, and milk. I'm telling you right now, mate, I haven't seen a nose twitch like that since, uh, well, you know, every night out ever. Um, if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, Riona, to cheer herself up and to get the stuff out of her nose, she's going to want hibiscus, honey, and mint. So that is hibiscus, honey, and mint. And apparently we've got some pie crust just chilling on the floor or something, so we make a, a pie coffee, which... Nah, bruh. Nah.
Right then, so, the two of them have just got married. Again, providing you be following the playthrough, they should have got married. There's only one drink here, which is chocolate, honey, and milk. Please, teabagging. <laughs> so, chocolate, honey, and mint. Everyone else will have the same. And we are going to lock, uh, unlock, sorry, another two achievements here. So, the first one is going to be just married. Lua and Bailey, as you can see, they're all in their wedding gear. And the hide li Libovitz achievement for... Hyde becoming a celebrity photographer. Tidy boys! So, we are on now to the final day. Now, providing 
Okay, providing that you have given everyone their drinks, so as long as you be following the guide completely as you, um, along with me. Basically, after the first three drinks here, Lucas, again, providing you've given everyone the completely correct drinks, Lucas will then ask to make him another specific drink, and that will get you the five stars achievement. Um, now, Georgie here, just go, um... Uh, hibiscus three times so again he wants the drink that we made the very first time so if you made him hibiscus go for the triple hibiscus if you made him blue pea go for the blue pea but again if you're following the video completely it was the triple hibiscus um but as i was saying so if you have um got every single person's drink completely correct in the game so far lucas will ask you for a drink if you haven't and you've somehow missed one um lucas will not ask you for that specific drink, and you will then have to go ahead and find out which drink that you missed, and, um, yeah, go again. Otherwise, he'll just dis disappear. So that happened to me twice, and I was losing my mind, but the reason why he was, um, not appearing for me and not asking me for the drink for the five stars achievement, it's because I wasn't giving Hyde his three hibiscus drinks all the way back in day five. So if you're ever having any problems with that, Hyde... Day five, three hibiscuses, that was the issue. So hopefully, uh, but again, hopefully following the guide, you've had no problem. So, blue pea and milk and milk. You will need to do it with latte art this time. This is specific. So blue pea, milk and milk. Press the Y button to go into your uh, latte art. You can do whatever you want. You can try, you can try and draw anything crude and rude. Um, I found it more difficult this time. So I just draw like drew like a... Pringles mustache bird or something. I don't bloody know. Anyway, uh, that one will be done there. And old Ryobo is going to want coffee, honey, and honey. So that's coffee, honey, and honey. Now, this is the point, as I said. If you manage to get one drink wrong somewhere, conversation is going to go off and uh, the two lovebirds here are going to leave. If you manage to get every drink correct, as, like I've said, you've hopefully been following the guide uh, to the T, um, Lucas will now ask us for a specific drink to really test us. And that particular drink then is green tea... Honey and milk, that's all it is. Green tea, honey, and milk. So there we go. Pop that one on and you will get the five stars achievement. And then with the next guest, the next special guest, you will also get the local flavors achievement as well uh, for getting e absolutely everyone's drinks right. And who is the special guest, I wonder? Well, it's someone we haven't seen throughout the entirety of the game who was... Pretty big character in the first one. Oh, also you will get the hibiscus and the butterfly achievement there. Um, that is for... Uh, that's basically story related, so that's all good. Um, there was a bit of an edit there, like I said, because I messed up the first couple of times, I've tried squeezing it in. You will also get the remembrance achievement as well, and that is for getting everyone's best playthroughs done. Um, basically simultaneously. So you have to get all everyone's achievements done there, plus we're going to get another one because... Hello, my green-haired Grinch, who we haven't seen for the entirety of the game. Yes, it's Freya! I wondered when she was going to pop a green head about. Uh, for some reason, she turned into the Grinch as she travelled around the world doing book stuff. Tidy bays. And for the final time then, in this first playthrough, it's a coffee, coffee, and coffee, and that will end the playthrough. So again, like I said, providing you've been following along there, you would have had plenty of achievements. You would have had four right there for the local flavor, five stars, remembrance for getting everyone's uh, basically best endings. And we will get the first uh, particular ending. Now... I'm pretty sure then, I am pretty sure that no matter what playthrough you do, whether you do the perfect, bad, or good ending first, you will always get these particular endings. Um, 
after you see everyone and how they've got on, etc., you will, I'm pretty sure everyone will get the same, I'm pretty 95% sure everyone will get the same epilogue scene. Um, so you, that's why you have to do at least the three playthroughs there to do three different story arcs in order to unlock all three different epilogue scenes. So, this first one then is basically an invisible person. I thought it was going to unlock here, but um, uh, what it's going to do is pop up the drink menu right here now. And then you're going to go, uh, you want something? Uh, I don't know. So you can literally give him whatever you want. Um, try and give him three milks, but I'm pretty sure this does not unlock any single achievement whatsoever. It is literally just the first epilogue scene, and again... I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter which order that you do the playthroughs in, whether you do the bad one first or the good one first, etc. I do think you will get these epilogue scenes um, in order every time you finish it. But what I am going to show you right now is what you do need for um, the achievement called Cat Shelter, which is reuniting um, the cat with its rightful owner. And uh, this is one that really, really did stump people. Um... Uh, so a lot of people I see, especially seen it online, a lot of people were very confused about why, uh, about what you had to do, was there anything specific that you had to do, and as it turns out, you just got to get all three story arcs. So this one I'm showing you is if you have completed all three story arcs. Now I'm only showing you in it now, because I got this at the very, um, I got this as a very end one, after I'd unlocked the... Um, perfect sort of playthrough. So obviously the first time I messed up Hyde's drink, um, I didn't get the local flavour achievement, and yeah, so that's why I'm showing you this one now, just to show you um, that because I got it last, um, but yeah, I'm just putting it in now. But this is the uh, this is the ending that you will get when you have completed the third story arc. So this is one you should get after you completed the third story arc. Again, whether it's bad or good, you will get Freya, who's nipped off. This guy here, Mr. Farmy. Or Fami. Uh, fa Farmy. Farmy. Yes. He wants a green tea latte. So we are going to make him the green tea latte. Uh, which is, of course, green tea, milk, and milk. What was it? Yeah, green tea. Yeah, green tea, milk, and milk. Just give him that one. And then eventually, once this one ends, the cat shelter achievement will unlock. But again... You, I expect, will not get it here. You will get it after the at the end of your third playthrough. So, again, I do apologize for a bit of... Uh, uh, getting a bit everywhere with this particular one, but it was literally doing my nutting. And as I said, um, after I'd completed... Totally completed everybody's drinks and everybody's items, which was the very last time I'd done it because I'd messed up Hyde's order, this ending unlocked for me after that one so that's why this one is here uh, but again apologies about the confusion but you should unlock it later on
So, as you can see then, because I uh, got all the endings for everyone, I got that particular ending um, and that message at the end. You've now uncovered the whole game, but what you will get is this, is this next message. You will also get this achievement as well. One way to find out, that's story related. Plus, you've seen the bigger picture. However, some finer points still remain. Which, again, effectively means you're just going to go straight for the next endings. Right, so the next set of endings that we are going to do, again, you can do it in any order if you want, but we are just going to go through the bad endings. And how to do that is literally you're just going to serve everybody their wrong drinks and never give anybody their items. So... Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is basically give everyone a triple coffee every time, except when Georgie asks for them. So I think it was only Freya at the very end, and Georgie asked for um, a triple coffee two or three times. So just give him a different drink, and that will be that. But we're going to give, like I said, absolutely everybody the wrong drink. We're not going to give anybody any items whatsoever, but we are going to get quite a lot of achievements for this one. And again, as I said, um, I showed you the first full playthrough. Now, for this bad and the good playthrough coming up, I'm not going to be showing you the whole thing. I'm only just going to be showing you um, w uh, the points and the achieve where, where whatever the achievements unlock and whatever specific points are needed in order to get um, some achievements, etc. So that's why I'm not showing you the full playthrough because it's not particularly needed, especially for this one anyway. So as I said, Georgie is going to want, um, obviously, his blue pea or hibiscus. As I said, because this is the bad playthrough, for the majority, we're just going to give keep giving everyone the triple coffee shots. And of course, you will get the Is This It achievement. Uh, now, this is also another good opportunity to go for the Stop It. Now, remember in the first game, we had to trash 25 drinks. This is the perfect opportunity in which to do this. So, give them a coffee, coffee, coffee. And again, you can only do it per day rather than per drink. Um, so, I accidentally served it. But what you can do is press the B button there to trash it. And what you'll see me do is nip on the story a little bit. There we go. So we're still on the first day. Make Riona the triple coffee. And then, of course, this time what you're going to do is just trash it. Five times you are going to trash it. Um, there we go. Oh, go. Okay, well, it's coming up now. So I think it's now the next day. So we're going to do it now. <laughs> right, fair enough. So triple coffee again. Uh, let's try this time, is it? And then, as I said, we are going to press the B button to trash it. Like I said, you only get five opportunities to trash a drink during a day. And we need a total of 25. So you should get it. If you've done it from day one, you should get it on day six. If you've don't done it like I've just done on day two, you will get it on day seven. So just keep trashing the drinks. Um, remember to keep... And then when that, once that's done, again, serve them up the wrong drinks. So it's pretty much normally going to be a triple coffee shot. So, moving on to day four now, and once again, as I said, we're obviously going to be giving, um, uh, Rachel, sorry, old Rachel Cat, the, the wrong drink. Now, you can just go for a triple coffee. I went with the green tea, mint, and lemon, just because I thought she wanted, uh, a triple coffee, which she didn't. So, uh, so what you're going to do is, again, serve her the completely wrong drink. Mint, lemon, green tea is absolutely fine. And then what that will do then, again, on day 13... You will get another single, another tape, but you will also get an achievement where she didn't feel very influenced. So, basically, everyone's all pissed off and angry just because we served them the wrong drink. So, not because they're fully grown people and they have their own minds. Nope, it's because we served them the wrong drink where their life doesn't go to plan. So, well, my friggin' bear. So 
So I've left this part in as well because what we're going to do is shove Riona a triple coffee. Now, once you get the first two drinks of hers wrong, maybe it's three, for me it was two, she basically ends up going, nah, bro, this coffee house ain't for me. She will never come back and we will get the ghosted achievement. So, uh, yeah. So again, that's why we're going to do that one. We're going to get the ghosted achievement and remember to trash all the drinks on a new day as well. And the failed messenger achievement should unlock as well for forgetting to give one particular item. Um, in fact, no. I think she ghosts us now. So it might just even be the one drink. Either, either way, yeah. So I'm going to get the ghosted achievement here. I think I've only given her... Uh, what was it? Yeah, no, Riona, Riona. Sorry, no, it was the second one. Yeah, so it was the second one that we didn't give her. So she's ghosted. So she's never coming back. We also get the key card there, but we don't actually uh, need that one. It's all good. We can just move on to the next day. And for the next day, then, here is Georgie. Now, again, he wants, as you can see, just black coffee. We're just going to give him a triple chocolate. Um, we're trying to give everybody the wrong drink. So just be aware there where Officer Georgie will want some coffee sometimes. Um, again, just be aware not to give him the full-on coffee. And again, because it's a new day, what you can do is obviously trash every single drink again. And this time, do not give him the lighter. We're just going to serve him the drink. And that is what will unlock us the bad memory achievement. That is literally just for giving, not giving Georgie his lighter back. So eventually then, Lucas is going to join us. And when we make him the triple coffee extreme, he is going to give us the bad review achievement so unlucky also uh, again if it's a new day of course keep trashing as i will remind you but there is the bad review achievement man the rare achievements are unlocking like a ting so this is where the stop it achievement unlocked for me it was on day seven with hide um, and Lua just next to him, so once you finally get rid of this final one, 25 times overall to trash it, the achievement there, stop it, will unlock. Oh, sorry, day six, is it? Yeah, it's day six, actually, close, close enough. So yeah, I'm sorry, what I forgot to show you was on day seven, what you needed to not do, of course, you haven't been given any items, as long as you haven't been given any items at all, then you will get this achievement automatically. So on day seven, you would have had to have not given Silver the Agent's ID's card. Um, and then what that will do is unlock the Star Cross Siblings achievement for us in just a minute. So again, that is, as I said, we're doing the bad ending. I have said, give them the wrong drinks and never give anyone an item. Once we've done that, Star Cross Siblings will unlock. So, again, and I do apologise, I forgot to show this one, but obviously when we got Myrtle's wrong, uh, drink wrong earlier on with the Triple Coffee Express, um, Aqua won't order a drink, and we will get the cold, shoulder, cold Shoulders achievement here as well. So again, that is literally just for giving Myrtle the Turtle Squirtle the wrong drink earlier on. And now we have uh, carried on with the story. We're now on to day 13. Because we gave Rachel the completely wrong drink earlier, she will now give us the nothing to show achievement. Which is a shame, but it's good for us. We also get the second out of three single tapes that we need. And on to day 14 here, as you can see then, Lua and Baileys did not get married. Again, uh, it, it's not because they've got their own relationship problems, it's just because we kept serving them the wrong drinks. So, that's our fault apparently. Um, 
So once again, it's a trip of Coffee Express, as it always has been. We will also get the Festina Lente achievement. And we will also get the Immutable Immortal achievement as well. So another couple of achievements popping up for us near. And on to the next day then, when Georgie starts talking to us and so we can start whacking out his drink, we are going to get the Work Woes Achievement. Um, and again, he asks for coffee, remember to give him a completely wrong drink, that is how you will get the Work Woes Achievement here. It's going to pop up any time in just uno, dos, tres, gato, gato, pitbull, oh yeah! There it is, look, Work Woes. Right, so just nip through the ending one there. Um, for the bad ending, I just got Lucas sitting down and being like, hey, blah, 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 blah. Um, again, as you'll be able to see, but what we will get is the not so hot business for uh, achievement for basically getting the bad ending. Like I said, because we served everyone their wrong drinks, we also didn't give anybody an item. So there it is, not so hot business. You will probably unlock this ending, which is... The horny man, goat man, talking to us. Tidy. Right, so before we nip into the good playthrough, we're just going to get a couple of uh, miscellaneous ones here out the way. Um, so the first one we're going to get is the What's This achievement. So basically, um, we need to give uh, Riona this, this uh, secret fit, the fidget spinner. So we're going to go to day four. Um, it doesn't matter if you've given her the wrong drink on the first day or whatever, she will still be there on day four. So day two, obviously, as you as you remember, Lucas gives us the fidget spinner. Uh, so what we need to do is, uh, as I said, hit the day four, smash through the conversation. Doesn't matter about the drinks for the minute. Oh, in fact, actually, while we're here, we can make Rachel's last drink, which is blue pea, milk, and honey. Now, this is, again, for the last single and the last achievement related to this. So, day four, obviously, blue pea, milk, and honey. And then we're effectively sort of killing two birds with one stone here. Right, so once Riona is here then, um, at the minute you can choose any drink, but it's probably best to just do the per sort of perfect one. So we're going for a blue pea, mint and mint one. And then what we're going to do, obviously we're going to press the X button to go into the drawer. And we are going to give Riona the fidget spinner. And this is what will unlock the what's this man achievement. It doesn't say mon, but it does say what's this. So once that's done then we can uh, press pause, we can load game, we can go straight to day 13. Remember, once you have changed somebody's drink or you've changed somebody's item or whatever, you don't have to replay the entire day, you can just press load, go on to whatever day you want. So for us it's day 13, and then what that will get us then is the uh, Wistful Nights achievement too.
So once that one unlocks, then we can just go straight back into day four. We're going to do the last one with Rachel. In fact, we'll, we're going to have to come back and then do it again because for some reason the true fan achievement doesn't unlock straight away. Um, so, um, yeah. So obviously what we're going to do, we're going to continue on with day four. We are going... Sorry, I sounded a little scousy then, didn't I? Um, chicken and a can of coke. Uh, but what we need to do then for Rachel's first drink, we need to give her green tea, milk, and honey. So, green tea, milk, and honey. Um, I think you can do it green tea, honey, and milk. I don't think the, the order particularly matters. Um, but basically, she's like, damn, man, that's good. So, milk, honey, green tea. She's like, damn, that's good. And then what we can do is go back and load up day 13 once again. And eventually, here it comes. Here it comes, man. Like people turning 30 this year. Here it comes. Uh, but no, there we go. So we've got the comfortable with you achievement. We've also got all of the tapes required now. But if the true fan achievement doesn't unlock, um, what we'll need to do is just go back to day four, make uh, any specific drink again. Um, if it doesn't unlock, uh, so we'll have to go back to day four. Um, make any of the drinks that we've done. We're just going to go again for the sort of sweetheart latte, which is hibiscus, milk, and honey. And then just reload back day 13, and the true fan achievement will unlock finally. So yeah, as I said then, it is a hibiscus, milk and honey, um, because, as I said, I'm just doing this be purely because of the next playthrough, we've got to do effectively a perfect playthrough with a couple of things that we're going to do wrong, uh, and it's literally four things that we're going to do wrong, um, so that's why I just thought, it's just easier, it's done, there we go. So what we can do now then is, once you have done that, we can now uh, reload the game back into day 13, and the true fan achievement should finally unlock. ta -da. There we go. True fan unlocked. 0 0.42. Mmm. Better than the old snexual snores they are. So what we can do now is press the X button to bring up our phone. We're gonna uh, now we've got all the singles or the tapes or the music, whatever. We've got it all filled out, the, the playlist. So we can press the X button, go to shuffled in the bottom right corner. And then literally, all you're going to do is just keep pressing the uh, left bumper or right bumper just, just to go through all of the songs. And you will get the achievement called 24-7, a beat to relax slash study to. So now that we've got those little ones out of the way, 
now it's going to be time for our final playthrough. And then hopefully with that you will get the Cat Shelter achievement for completing everyone's story arcs. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the full list of drinks um, in the description box and in the comments section as well. So rather than you having to go back through the video and then go through all that, you can literally just have a look in the description box. Again, because what you're going to do is put... Uh, for the majority, most people's perfect drinks, and then I'll obviously tell you which ones to make wrong, and which items not to give, etc, etc. So, have a look at the, um, beep, 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 beep. have a look at the drinks list, follow along with the drinks list, and then again, like I said, um, on the video here, I will tell you what to do wrong in order to get the normal slash good story arcs. So, obviously we started off strong, um, so again, you can pick whichever you want for the first one here. You can go, I'm just going to go for the triple hibiscus again, so we'll go hibiscus, hibiscus, hibiscus. And as we crack on then, with Riona, now, what we need to do then, um, for Riona and Luca to get they, uh, Lucas, to get their particular ending, I'm going to put blue pea... Milk and cinnamon. Now, this is a wrong drink. This is the first time with Riona's drink. We're going to give her a wrong drink to begin with. So, all I had to do personally was give Riona two wrong drinks. And then the story achievement for those two, the budding partnership or whatever, unlocked at the end. Um, very important here. On day four, so the next time that we give Riona a drink, make sure that it is the correct drink. So make sure then that is it is the correct drink, otherwise she will ghost us, and obviously we'll mess up the ending. So make sure it's blue pea, milk, and honey. Again, this is on day four. So this is the correct drink she wants, blue pea, milk, and honey, the, the, the dr dreaming blue thing. Also, of course, give her Lucas's uh, contact information. So again, what you'll need to be doing is giving all of the people the correct um, items and information and stuff as well. Um, so yeah, we're, we're effectively going perfect except for two items we're not given and two drinks. So this is day seven with, uh, Silva and Amanda. Obviously what we're going to do is give them the correct drink, but this time what we're going to do, so we're going coffee, coffee and lemon, but what we're not going to do is give them the agent ID. So, and if you're wondering why this particular achievement didn't unlock, it's because obviously we served them all wrong drinks. This time we're serving them all right drinks while not giving them um, particular items. So day seven, make sure to just give Silver the drink here and not the agent ID. And that's all you need to do in order to unlock the How I Met Your Ancestor achievement in just a little bit. And then a little bit later on... Uh, we've got Gala, we've got Riona, and this is where, once again, we're going to give her the wrong drink. This is in day eight, so we're just going to go coffee, lemon, and honey. And again, this is the second wrong drink, okay? Now, also, if you want to, um, if you need to go back to getting everything perfect, if you need to, just write down which days and which, um, which days that you gave Riona here the wrong drinks, just so you can go back and correct them for if you need them for whatever particular reason. So that is, but again, make sure now that you give Riona the rest of the correct drinks. No more giving her wrong drinks. So as I said, all I did to get the, the good ending there for Riona and Lucas was give her two wrong drinks, and that's it. I still gave her all the items, and I still gave her everything else. And uh, Lucas, all the correct drinks and all the correct items, etc., etc. Um, but from now on, as I said, just give Riona and everybody else the correct drinks, and we're good as gold, man. So then, a little bit later on then, we're here with Bailey, Silver, and Amanda. Once we have given Amanda the hibiscus milk and milk, which I believe is day 11. Yes, hibiscus milk and milk. 
the achievement uh, the achievement for how I met your ancestor will unlock and again this is because we did not give silver the agent ID card in chapter 7 So on to day 12 then, uh, what we're going to get is the unsolicited bouncer, um, so again we're going to make the uh, Gala his drink, which is uh, hibiscus milk, uh, no sorry, uh, hibiscus ginger and honey, so hibiscus ginger and honey, only this time we are not going to give him the wedding invitation. So do not give him the wedding invitation, just press the A button here to serve it. And you will get the unsolicited bouncer achievement. Nice bouncing, mate. Also very important, so on day 11, um, if you remember, Riona gives you her business card, or her card to give to Officer Georgie. So we're going to go for an espresso for him. Now, to get the uh, good ending, or the normal ending here for Georgie, we need to not give him jo uh, Riona's card. So once again, do not give him Riona's card, just serve the coffee as it is, and just that one little thing... We'll completely change his story arc and give him just the good slash normal ending. And then finally then, on day 15, you're going to give him whatever drink you gave him very, very first. But because of that one slight change in thing, we've given him all the correct drinks all the way through. But we just didn't give him Riona's uh, business card or whatever card it was. We are now going to get the... Tender Souls achievement. A whip crack went his whoopy tail, and the beast was done. He asked us, "Me, you angels?" And we said, "Nay, we are but men." Rock. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Sorry, I've got to get the tenacious D out. Anyway, blue pea milk and milk here for Lucas. And then, once again, because we got two of uh, Riona's orders wrong throughout the game, that, once again, those small little changes will be enough to give us the budding partnership achievement. And that is all of the story arcs complete. So that's the best playthrough, the best story arc, the good story arc, which is this one, and the bad story arc. Now, what you should get then is the um, the epilogue scene with Freya and Fami, with the cat, or Fami, or whatever his name is, sorry, um, with the cat. And that should also get you the cat shelter achievement as well at the very end. Um, Mohammed Fami has... Re now, of course, uh, he... So he very sadly passed away, um, I think it was about a year ago now, actually, I, I, I believe. I could be wrong, but I believe. Um, so ignore this ending. This is because I messed up on my first perfect playthrough. Um, so this will be like the second ending that you get with the bad ending. Yeah, it's, yeah, I 
sort of confused it by messing up. But as I said, you've done all the story arcs, so now you should have got the Cat Shelter achievement as well. And now what we're going to do is just do the challenge mode. The art takes time for practice, um, for basically being in art mode for an hour. And we are going to get the rest of the Master Brewer achievement. So, if, like me, and you followed the guide, you would still have what we got. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 left to get. And you can tell that, because if we go into Endless Mode, which we're going to do, press the X button to get your phone up and go into your brew pad, you can see which teas you are missing, which coffees you're missing, etc. as well. So what I will do again... I will, in the description box and in the comment section, what I will also do is put a list of all of the teas and coffees in so you can um, either copy that or what you can do then is just copy me and copy uh, exactly what I do for the next, um, I think it's like three or four minutes. Um, so if you just want to follow along and then hopefully, because you'll be following the guide, you will unlock the achievement at the end. If not, just consult the list and find which one it is that you're missing, because of course it's got separate lists for tea, coffees, milks, etc. So, it's all handy gravy, baby.
So there we go, mate. Master Brewer is done. So hopefully you have got that at the very same time. Again, if not, check your brew pad. Uh, see which ones you're missing uh, from the list in the description box. And go nuts from there. Right, so what we're going to do now, we are going to get... No, actually, we're going to get one more um, art piece of gallery, which this stunt a lot of people. So, providing you've gotten to this point in the game, you've done all three story arcs, everything's complete except for a couple more achievements, you would have seen there that page 9, photo 5 was blanked out. Again, this stunt a hell of a lot of people. A hell of a lot of people. And as it turns out, the fix is quite simple. So what we're going to do, because obviously we've done effectively a good playthrough or perfect playthrough, we're going to go to uh, Hyde's Days. And all we're going to do is get, uh, give everyone else their, their drinks, as they ask. But all we're, all we're going to do is give Hyde some milk. So I ended up just going to two of his days, changing those days to milk. And then we're going to go to day 14. So again... You'll obviously have to crack on and fast forward and give people their drinks, whatever. It doesn't matter if you give people their drinks or not. It doesn't matter. But for Hyde, what does matter is we're going to give him the milk and milk and milk combo. So once you give them the triple milk, we'll do one more just to be on the safe side. Again, if you want to just go to day 14 and press the right bumper to skip through the day, the achievement will unlock about halfway through if you want to check that now. If not, go to day 6 here as we are doing. Obviously smash through again until we get to hide and again give him the triple milk combo. And then what we can do, go to load game, go down to day 14. And again, if you want to give him the correct drink, it's probably worth doing it just in case. But then what you need to do, so what will happen now, because we served Hyde two of his drinks, he's basically gone, oh, the old tea baggins didn't even give me my correct drinks. Now I don't want to be a celebrity photographer. Instead, what he does is whip out a cell phone or mobile phone. Um, and he shows the picture of Lua and Bailey's wedding. And that is what will get you the final photo and the art connoisseur achievement. There it is, boys. So now we are coming up close to the end. All we've got to do now is the challenge mode. And if you remember the challenge mode from the first game, it is exactly the same thing. Um, now, what I'm going to do is put a link in the, once again, in the description box. And in the comment section below to Steve Viver. Uh, Steve Viver's guide. So basically what he's done is put up... Um, all of the drink names, the, the green tea based drinks, coffee based drinks, blue pea based drinks, and he has put the flavor profiles in and just everything. It's, it's an awesome job there by Steve, so big props to him. So obviously, if you remember then, we go into endless mode, go into challenge. What you can still do, just like in the first game, is press pause and see what particular drink they want. So for the first couple, they're going to tell you what they want exactly. And again, just like we've been doing in the game, you have to put that in the particular order they're asking. So you will need to put chocolate, mint and ginger. Again, it's all going to be random for you. So just um, obviously be aware of that one. Uh, but for the first couple, it's nice and easy to tell you exactly what they want, which is chocolate, mint and ginger for me. Uh, give that a serve. You know you've got it right when there's a green background and they start going <laughs> laughing. 
Um, and obviously, again, as you can see there, so Lua here wants a blue pea, blue pea, and honey. So you do blue pea, blue pea. And that really turns your pea blue. And honey, bluer than your jacket. And then, eventually, it starts getting progressively more difficult. Um, so, later on, now, for this one, one honey tea. So, what this means, uh, what this basically means is, if there's no comma in it, and he just asks for honey tea, you've got to put the last ingredient first. You just basically have to switch the ingredients. So, put the last ingredient first, and then put two of the first ingredient. So, instead of me explaining, because <laughs> that can seem complicated, I'll just show you. So, he wants honey tea. So, what we're going to do is give him tea and then honey and honey, okay? So tea and then honey and honey. So you switch the ingredients, but then you just put two of the last ingredient, if you get what I mean. So if you get anything like that, two things like that, you just need to put the first ingredient first and then two of the last ingredient. Now he wants a mint lemon chocolate. So for this one, what you need to do is you just need to put the uh, last ingredient, which is chocolate, first, and then do the two and the third one as normal. So he wants a mint lemon chocolate, so we're going to put chocolate mint lemon, if you get my drift. So put the last ingredient first, and then do the second ingredient, and then the third ing the first ingredient, second ingredient, as the second and third one. So it's, it's complicated to explain, it's easier to follow, so hopefully you've got that one uh, uh, well. Uh, and obviously it'll just be the same here, so hibiscus first, then mint, and then honey. So hopefully you have got that. You don't spend too long on these anyway. So if you're getting a bit confused, you don't spend too long on these particular ones. And then eventually what happens? He wants... Oh, in fact, there we go. So we just get the barista trainee. That's the first 10 complete. Um, so again, tea, ginger, ginger. And obviously, as it is, you, you ca it's counting down. You just need to be sort of as quick as you can. Now... What you can do is go into Steve Ivers' guide, um, as I said, uh, as like, providing you've got the link up. The, he has put a list down of all particular drinks. So, obviously, pause it, have a look what he wants, which is, of course, the Galaxy Mint Tea. And then, what you'll be able to see then, you've got coffee-based drinks, green tea, tea-based chocolate, blue pea, hibiscus, milk, and bloody everything. So, to be fair, he's done absolutely everything. So, all you need to do, it's in the blue pea-based drink. So go and find that, Galaxy Mint Tea, and then putting whatever particular um, thing that it is. So of course for this one, it's, uh, it's Blue Pea Mint and Mint. Uh, no, sorry, no, I lied. It's Blue blue Pea Mint and Lemon. <laughs> I lied. But of course it's going to be random for you anyway. So there's going to be the next set of drinks that they're after. Now we get into, and for the, the rest of the game, or the rest of the challenges, we get into the flavor profile. So as you can see here... Um, Gala has asked for something less cool, so just have a look through all the flavor profiles and you can put any drink that you want as long as it is less cool. So, as you can see, for me, it's a coffee, coffee and lemon, but less cool could be the uh, chocolate, honey and ginger drink. It could also be blue pea, ginger and ginger. So just as long as <laughs> that rip guy, by the way, hilarious. So as long as it's uh, just that one and again, it starts getting a little bit trickier. You need to now find two particular flavor profiles. Um, obviously, it's all going to be random. So for me, it's extra bitter and less warm. So again, pause the game, look through everything. For me, it's coffee, mint, and honey. So we start getting those ones out of the way. Again, it gets progressively more difficult. We now need one with three flavor profiles. So less cool, extra bitter, and not sweet. And the problem with the writing, though, on Steve Ivers' guide is you, what, your eyes are going to start mashing up, by the way. Because you're trying to look now for three and eventually four particular flavor profiles. Yeah, your eyes do start messing up. So try and get, like, a dark background or whatever's easier for you. Um, but again, so we get to about three flavor, flavor profiles. Um, I've left this in because I think the achievement's going to unlock right here. Oh, in fact, no, we're on 48. 48 out of 50, so for me, this is where I start getting, for the final two, I then now have to look for four flavor profiles. It may be a little bit earlier for you, it may be a little bit later, um, so hopefully, I mean, hopefully they don't come up for you at all, but you may be looking, trying to look for four flavor profiles a lot. If not, and you've looked through it twice, and you can see absolutely nothing, just quickly serve him an espresso, and we will go on to the next one. Uh, now, I do actually kind of get 
Lucky here with Big Hendry. Um, I just put green tea milk and green tea. Even though what he was asking wasn't on the list. So I got lucky with that one in all fairness. So cheers Flanderinos. And for the final one then. Um, I did manage to get this one. And like I said, it's not... A, you don't have to get 50 in a row or anything like that. Just as long as you serve 50 correct drinks before the time is up. That will do it. Um, so for Rachel then, in fact I got two. I had to uh, do another espresso for Aqua Fish Flaps. So give her a gingerbread coffee. That's it. And that will be the final, almost final achievement for Barista Guru. Now we've got all the, you know, the challenging stuff out of the way. We're just going to go for one more chilled out achievement. Um, so we will load game. We'll go up to day one. We'll, and as soon as we get to the first uh, drink, which will of course be Georgie, um, all we're going to do is go into Latte Art to put green tea, milk and milk. And then you just have to stay in that mode for an hour. And that is literally job done. You will get two achievements there, but art takes time and thank you for playing. So, in fact, it's Lucas for me for some reason. But anyway, so put green tea, green tea and milk. What I do advise though is every time I was walking away um, and my Xbox here went into sort of standby mode or whatever it was and the controller went off, um, it would actually go off the uh, latte art screen so I do just advise just uh, stay in by your controller and then pressing the A button or uh, not not the A button not the A button uh, pressing the right trigger button and the right bumper button every now and again just so it knows that you're still there um, otherwise that is just a nice easy one to chill out on oh look that's a pair of legs and now it is a not a pair of legs uh, anyway so once you have spent a, a total of an hour on this screen what you can do is just press the A button to be done. And once the achievement unlocks then, they will be done. So that'll be 53 out of 53 achievements all done. So I've got to give, I've got to give a big hand here to Toad Productions. Not only did they make the game better, in my opinion, they also put a few challenging achievements in there as well, which, you know, not too frustrating. But, you know, it, it was just, it was a pleasure to play all around. Anyway, those two are done. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope you enjoyed the game. And I do ho really hope that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. If it didn't help or I could have done something different, please, of course, let me know as well. Constructive criticism is always uh, welcome. Not criticism, but constructive is fine. Um, a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members as well. Absolute legends of the highest order. So thank you so, so much for watching again. I shall see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big love.